Hello, hello. Here we are on Sunday, September 17th. A quick cup of coffee before I go to do the daily hike. Yeah, my gym is the forest of lingonberries and blueberries still. Uh, but this um, special 17th day, I have something special, yes as a social experiment, building up these different communities um, locally and around the globe. So, um, yeah, another uh, social app, was which one, where I haven't been for years. I have never got a interesting match there when I, you know, tried it out, just like uh, any other social app. And on that note, I'm bearish on those apps because, you know, um, they kind of don't, uh, they, 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 they teach the behavioral hopium and they are so imbalanced that anyone who uses them ends up always hoping for better, bigger deal instead of uh, building a strong relationship. That's why I'm... It's so simple as that. That perspective just uh, nails down uh, the whole paradigm in the bearish about those apps. As uh, like from investor's perspective, of, I of course always look at these paradigms and perspectives, how I see them to develop over time. But that aside, we can still, you know, join, connect and have fun if I will. But as I said, there hasn't been any, I hasn't, I haven't uh, paid it. And I haven't paid any kind of subscription, but just, you know, um, used it uh, to see if uh, it is, uh, you know, because uh, the main thing, the main fun is there that it's still me for me as a person. I think it gives the top, uh, uh, so-called top persons by the uh, T ranking. Can you already know? <laughs> you should already know what what uh, I'm talking about. Uh, but you know, just for the fun, yesterday, because I got a couple of signs why I should um, uh, check it out this app real quick. First was that um, um, in our uh, in a distant open relationship of mine, I got a sign that you know they are they are uh, hanging out regular with with some uh, um, other guys and uh, it's cool, it's cool you know um, they they deem to be friends and uh, yeah, it's just uh, when when you deem to be friends with uh, with um, uh, it's uh, it's then only up to the virtuosity whether you can withstand and stay loyal and committed to the one person who you are saying you are. But anyways, that that aside, the second sign was that uh, I I think and I heard that this app has de developed somehow the better. But um. Here, so this is the this is the uh, context, and where we are moving now is to those um, perspective which I'm going to point out that then you understand upon the context. So uh, the third sign was that um, uh, yesterday um, I posted this low key uh, my story to snap for a long time no see I activated on snap and I posted this low key story there um, who else is reactivated on X that was the first one kind of linking sharing my X growth then the second one was this uh, be real um, my evening gym the day before yesterday then my gym yesterday and my my gym today 
this kind of series of be reels and why it is so important for me to post this low key low key niche is the niche of mine over distance it is so important because uh, this will um what well, what is the nice verb to say this this will deactivate 80 percent of the gold diggers and weak hands and quest what happened when um these these stories were to my friends only but this story was for the public and quest what happened quest what uh game here somebody like uh, with uh, P industry marks joined my profile so there is already gold digging gold digger arrived but um, on that same note um, like I would estimate that 80% of these uh, uh, female persons over the distance they have uh, in this culture they have inclination towards that G, G digging on the finish line whenever they can do get away with it and uh, that's why the youth the young adults of our time is so inclined to stay in open relationships because they they try they they have been taught they have been taught to um happy to allies around hoping for better bigger deal every day and they only only the virtuous persons of out of them like less than one percent are able to withstand the the urge to the hopium and the the dopamine of the hopium and thereby when i post something to these apps with this personal where where the most of the g diggers are over the distance uh my niche is of course this low key low key niche you know no no g digger is going to like uh, a guy who is uh having a gym at the at the Ling lingonberry forest no 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 <laughs> and and uh um this is like of perfect timing because um, with with the T there that um, um, I I check it out my my story who check at this and one of the persons to whom I suspect that to be gold digger I sent a snap from yesterday forest and um, there and uh, as she uh, blocked me out of uh i i check it that uh, okay i i don't find uh this person anymore uh, well it she wasn't on the on my feed list anyway because i clear the person so fast anybody who opens my snap and doesn't reply i clear them from the feed so i didn't see her there anyways but i i know that's that hey her name had changed because uh, it, it wasn't anymore this uh, with those. I changed the names so I remember who I I quickly changed whenever I add somebody here. Her name wasn't the changed name anymore. So um, she, she is gone. <laughs> uh, one gold digger. And the funny thing is now when I opened just the T there, um, I got three matches. First of all, I'm not subscribed to the app. Then, oh, 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 before that. Well, let's finish this. Um, now I check it who is there and quest who came across. It was that person who blocked me on Snap. And this, some, some times ago, this was also the, the way how I found her in the first place. But uh, now that I, I reactivated my T there, Perhaps she has found me here as well, or perhaps she lost the hopium when I um, 
she checked all my stories through till the last one and I guess that uh, then she didn't find uh, it pleasing so she and here she is on on the on the famous app so um, she says in the bio um, current uh, interest within arts traveling F1, Formula 1 and the color of pink like the color of pink it was the first panther I snapped to her within chat when she posted about it and so forth extroverted and enthusiastic basketball player anyways um, the point being that bio when you are interested to Formula 1 car drivers it's like uh, why <laughs> uh, so the point being is that uh, over these uh, uh, distant apps I got a post along the low key niche that withers away the 80% of G diggers which and otherwise weak weak uh, female players who I don't want to meet anyhow, who I don't want to waste a minute of time to. Because uh, from a woman's perspective, they can never imagine how many those g digger messages I get every day on these apps. Like all, all the social apps are flooded. Chats are flooded with gold digging messages. Whenever, whenever they find a real man, Those females who will uh, start to flood their chats with their gold digging messages. And a woman can't ever imagine how bad the situation is, uh, how, how badly these gold diggers are flooding the, the DMs and sliding into DMs on every social app where I am. Gold diggers are synonyms to scammers. Uh, in, in, uh, by the way, keep that in mind. And, and of course there are there are male males doing it as well but every time in my chats they are always uh, with female profile picture and uh, it's it's a real um, I just casually got a I haven't talked about this so much although in my first book of the series on the like first pages I said right off the bat how bearish I am on these apps which teach the, they are kind of debuilding the good behaviors. They are debunk, no, not debunking, but they are, they are uh, destroying the good behaviors that would otherwise build, uh, try, and th try to build a stronger relationship. But instead... These, these certain apps, they destroy the good learning curve of a strong relationship. That's why in the, in the first pages I, I give the hint of value um, in the first pages of the first book uh, of the series. But the series, the book series, Living Relations, Passing Distance, it's all about... It's this book series is meant to be the timeless value that is and the, the learning curve between from going to zero into hundred and beyond when a real man and a good woman who is who is coachable who who is able to learn who is not toxic who is not uh, who is not programmed herself already the wrong way within these apps when a w woman has to be on that level zero because as soon as she programs herself wrong way she's not able to learn this curve of value anymore and and this book series living relations passing distance this will be the timeless piece of our age where um that will be always 
relevant and that will be always readable as the ultimate coach book for anybody, for any kind of relationship that naturally begins and grows and builds up stronger and stronger and stronger. The good way. In dialogue that goes through and discusses between the man and woman all these different perspectives where the man is actually more experienced but pure he is purely in the thinking in the interest of value for both that is the pure real man his only interest is to build pure value into the relationship that is never only for herself himself it is also always for her and if even if the relationship would some point it will be challenged all the time all the way that's that's the book series about it goes through all the challenges every challenge is a opportunity an opportunity to build a stronger relationship and it goes all through all those challenges and the curve rises but even after years of this relationship even if they would break up the woman will always walk away with more value from that relationship why because she now had been taught the ultimate skill set how to build value and how to be present and how to connect up with a real man that is the most important how would i say incompator for a woman's mind she has to be able to build build with big b like bitcoin build a strong relationship instead wasting her time within all these chitterish chatterish dabs apps build choosing with whom to build and build that one but these days like 99% of the young uh, girls they don't have that skill set and mindset that's that's why this book although the main character the main there are two main characters the woman and the man um the main character is the man a little bit more but the actual main character is that relationship and and this book series is so valuable for any woman because it gives the real man's perspective what goes what goes through inside a real man that is that is the all what they need to know like because real man is the sensor of genuinity and authenticity and all those are the very basics how you begin to build up relationship as soon as a real man detects that something is fake something is artificial something is distant something is off something is on and off something is gamey as soon as real man detects that he is going to challenge that with fun it will be fun real man is always fun real man has best sense of humor it will be fun but although it will be fun it will be challenge and uh upon that challenge a woman will either challenge herself to go through it or her value just um, becomes less serious in the eyes of the real man this is only one very 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 brief take upon this context about this book series you could tell about this book series in thousand different angles of perspective. You could talk about this book series only from the perspective of art. 
there is art present in this book series. Its art is kind of universal topic that goes from universal um, standpoint towards the very micro kind of skin felt close perspective because everybody can interpret art in any way so it is always a kind of a good connector of topics and it's always a good topic of panther so there is in this in this book series within the dialogue and there is this uh, art is here and there it's it's present like like you know you can um, even nature is art if you can see it the right way so that was a uh, kind of uh, i i didn't even think that i would end up talking about my book but the main main fun point was um was this uh finding how oh now i re recalled two findings yes so this was the f this was the fourth sign why why i kind of uh, was curious about to reinstall this tdare app so the fourth sign was this to see if if because on my snap there are persons who i met face to face like seven years ago but uh a few years ago like five four years ago those persons were i saw them on theater then in between like a couple of few years ago i saw them persons in real life and i saw them with boyfriends these girls this young uh, woman woman three persons actually and now when i reinstalled this theater yesterday right off the bat two persons of them who i met here seven years ago came across on theater i thought they had boyfriends i thought they were in good happy relationship but now i see them on theater again with verified profile and so forth and yesterday i was already thinking oh shit i should really remove delete this app right away <laughs> because i see that those persons who were there once in the, uh, their early like when they were 18 they they were there then they were with their boyfriends in between and now they are 24 years old and they are again on theater i should in the install this <laughs> well i'm i'm here just uh, just for the gist just for the yeah just for the jazz and now today i check at this app and another person who i met at the gym where i go like three years ago i i met her there and then a couple years ago and a year ago i saw her with it with a solid uh, relationship with a boy they went to the gym together and uh, now she came across she just came across on my on this app and and her, in her bio she asked uh what do you prefer to do like shall we go for a walk for a train what else there were but anyways uh, and now i have already the the value of amusement and the val the behavioral um observation that i have already catched from this app is already enough enough ex, enough fun that is it was kind of worth to check out this app because that is what happens within this relationship who are on these apps but by the way i kind of uh, i i i'm um it's completely understandable and and um i'm i'm completely neutral about the person whether you are on this app or not in my view being on this app doesn't make anybody does not make anybody as a worse person let's say but what i'm i'm only peerish 
about that trait. So let's see, it would be bearish flag. It would kind of niche, it would kind of um, toss the stock down a little bit. But it would not, it would not like, um, it would, the stock wouldn't go into bankruptcy right away. So I'm not saying that it's, you know, within this culture we live, it's completely understandable that somebody uh, gets so frustrated that they prefer to exercise their options from while while laying on their own sofa alone at home rather than going out to the cool weather where it's uh, might be a, always a kind of a harder to organically meet a real man. But the thing is that uh, very uh, in in the value in the set of values and valuation i i know it's very unlikely that a real man has time to use this kind of dingling dangling apps so that is my my bearish bearish case for these apps but um what, what positive I have personally to say this app is that at least it shows me uh, these are these are quality looking persons it shows me and most of them are verified. Some of them are not but most like 40% no 30% is not are not but most even even they're very good with with kind of a good curiosity they have they are verified in whatever i can i can say from this because the only thing i can see from this app are these photographs um with less or more authenticity they are they may be they might be so fake or edited so all i can see that are whether how how real it looks that's that's the only uh like i reactivated this app it get get the guidelines that you on this app you are your photographs so forth but anyways um this was um clarified the case for this and by the way these apps are a casual topic always now and then even even uh, these days whenever i have met people sometimes always somebody gives and tells and shares a funny story about how how they interacted with somebody over these apps i hear these stories all the time and and when i hear these stories i of course out of curiosity have fun with the sense of humor and and uh what good vibes only with these persons i have nothing i have no grudge about anybody uh, free judgment free frames that's uh so i'm i'm natural i'm natural really so that being said the most important takeaways from here are that um, I will keep posting uh, low or key niches and uh, I will remain there. <clears throat> and let's let's put this thing in comparison. I would be even more peerish on persons who travel to a broad country and there they go into cars of random people and lift lift their way everywhere i would be way way more bearish their their stock would be like phew. if 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 this this apps make your stock like a little bit deep if you go into foreign country and you know go into clubs, go into 
dance in these random people and they then go into their cars. Well, something, something, there are way, way, way bigger chances that something goes wrong. But of course, if the, like on my, I, I came up with that perspective because on my app, the snap right away, there, there is somebody who is doing that with her friend and they are going to random cars and uh, they are vlogging all the time and snapping everybody's faces because that is kind of their only protection, that publicity. Right? Anyways, oh, another nuance is that um, mm, another nuance is that um, over the distance, here are these um, some of these how would I say bearish flags. Um, Likewise, that this is in the context of that I want to post something low key that this uh, 80% of the unreal people would uh, I would uh, get a sense who they are because they they deactivate themselves in a way or another. They show their hand in a way or another. And another way is that uh, somebody who, who keeps initiating with me, sending me initiative snaps sending me chats on an regular basis, like they, they are on and off type over the distance. And they keep updating their my story. And then when I, I post something to my story, my story, like once in a month, and they just chatted up with me, this person, but then they don't check out my story, what I posted. That is huge bearish flag. Like, how can you be so unauthentic? How can you, how can you uh, be so into yourself that you just keep up with your own my stories and throw random snaps to a man, but when that man posts something, you don't you don't see his story. That's like a fake. That's that's being a fa in a fake connection. So, I mean, the the main usefulness of these apps is having fun, of course, expanding the circle in this fun way as a tool. But up when when it goes to deeper uh, level, if you if you think to connect up with somebody new on this app, first of all, you gotta see how and which way and who are the persons you don't want to connect up with. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, now that I posted this uh, gym series from the forest to my story, if you would be genuine person, you would comment something cool about that. And that, that is exactly what uh, what is on my top uh, top of the list three, four hours ago. I quest it some positive comment. It's it's a handshake, yes. And I I commented faced it uh, like like in this like she already uh, complimented uh, earlier when uh, when I snap it to her from the forest. Let's see these other chats. Yeah, so she confirmed that she is more away in the another city rather than in Espo. This is somebody no I I got to knew I got to know from an election campaigning like seven, eight years ago, and now she has moved out of the city to far away in the northern Finland. And then here is some person who is on my snap, but she happened to be in 
Lappeenranta Ranta in the city where I visit regularly, so we talked about photography, let's see what's up with her. She said, not bad when I told about this, um, So I asked, yeah, what's how how's your goings in that city where there's is a student? I don't know who they are. So let's get to know. That's about it. We have reached the here's by the way the the, the web lo blogger in the random cars. Girl. But anyways, let they do there. Leave, let live. All right. It's just perspectives. You can be philosophical when you are wise beforehand. It's better to be wise beforehand than in the hinge sites. It's it's better to um, dodge the mistake than learn the hard way. Right. That's why books are there. Like books, I estimate that books have saved the most lives in in human history when people have read books cheers for that upwards not too serious